Hi, my name is Ziad Fayad. I am uh, part of the Einstein Analytics product team and today I am going to show you how do you do formulas um, in compare table and specifically the period over period or change from previous. As you can see, I have a chart that showing me the period over period change. It's a combo chart with another metric and essentially the way I did this is I went to create a step, I chose my data set and I group by a date part. It is period over period that I want. So let's say year, uh, month. And let's say I'm looking at sum of amount, for example. And um, I switch to compare table. And within compare table, um, again, I can add a column from here or I can clone a column from here or even you can just edit this column and assume you are going to go and add a column from here so I just added it from here so multiple ways to do the same thing depends on how uh, you're comfortable with your workflow but essentially let's say I want to call this period over period API name no spaces and let's get this POP and right here I see f of x which are prepackaged uh, functions uh, including the powerful sliding window but in this case I'm just interested in period over period so I select period over period it's not grayed out because I am grouping by a date right here that's why I see it sometimes you might see it grayed out if there's no date part there uh, in the compare table being grouped and I have a choice to pick my column that I'm tracking for period over period. Of course, you can have multiple columns. In this case, I only have one column, A. This is my base column, if you may call it that way. So there's only one. And it is month over month, obviously. And how do I want to uh, calculate the change? Probably, let's say it's a percentage this time. I keep the format as a percentage. So everything looks good. I'm going to hit apply. And there you go, I have my period over period. Of course, there's nothing before 2017-04 in this particular uh, particular data set. I hit close and I have my period over period. Now, a lot of time I say you are not, um, you know, uh, confined to a table here. Of course, I can go back and pick another chart, whether it's a bar chart or if I want to go back and pick a combo chart and play around with the properties, which are right here. Um, if I want to use a dual axis or move the legend, etc., etc., of course, do not forget to always give it a name, period over period, and that's it. I have my step using period over period. I had done because I specified what it is going to be um, from a combo chart perspective. I can drag and drop it onto my dashboard and start, you know, editing the properties. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, just as a reminder, this was uh, as of summer 18, how you do period over period and similarly the other functions that are available from the drop down in the compare table. Thank you for watching.